Today's podcast is based on Psalm 121. It's a song of ascents. Starting with verse 1, it says, I lift my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. From reading the news about the coronavirus, people are looking everywhere for help. We look for each other to maintain quote-unquote social distancing, a term that didn't exist just three months ago. Or to help with shopping. We look to our governments to lead us through that flattening the curve, which happens to be another new term, by shutting down much of what we normally do. We look to the medical profession to treat the sick and to prevent the disease from spreading or from rebounding in the future. We are much like that psalmist who wrote in verse 1, I lift my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? And so we search asking relatives, friends, neighbors, or governments, and even total strangers to pitch in. On the one hand, it's okay to seek help from others. That's what bearing one another's burdens is all about. But, on the other hand, let's not think that only others can help us. In fact, there is one who is greater than anything and everything that is all around us. As it says in verse 2, My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Since God designed us, He knows our need best of all, whether physical, financial, relational, personal, emotional, mental, or spiritual. He made the elements that we combine into chemical compounds to become everything from our medicines to our computer chips. He put the physical powers and properties into place that enable us to use radiology to treat diseases or lasers to cut through steel. He gave us understanding of lift and propulsion to enable us to fly to heights previously unimaginable. You know, as the old saying goes, when all else fails, read the directions. For the Christians, when all else fails, go to the Creator who was there from before time even began. Go to the one who made us and remains actively involved with us. Even when life pushes us around, verse 3 tells us that he will not let your foot be moved. We can stand surer than a goat on a rocky mountain. Sometimes I like to think of this little child, a picture of a little child trying to go up against a sumo wrestler. And with God on our side, we can stand like that sumo wrestler. You know, our God is always available. Verses 3 and 4 continue. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. God does not have office hours. He has no need to take days off to recuperate from that rat race that burns us out. We have instant access to his throne. We don't have to take a number and stand in line. And just as God steadies us in verse 3, see three more ways that he protects us as we go through the rest of the psalm. The first way is physically, 24-7, Verses 5 and 6 says, The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. Secondly, he protects us spiritually. Verse 7, The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. This is the same sentiment that Jesus taught us when he gave us the Lord's prayer. It says, Deliver us from evil. The third way God protects us is eternally. Verse 8, The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. King David reflected this truth in Psalm 23, verse 8, when he wrote, And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We only need to trust in God. We only need to come to Him for our help. Stamped on all of our coins is the phrase, In God we trust. For the Christian, that is more than a model. It is a reminder. It is a call to commitment. Let that phrase become true of us. May God be our help.